Hey there, it's me, Winona Earp of the Demon Killin' Earps. I'm currently on a road trip with my main tip, Doc Holliday. I will never break a promise to my girl. We are Tennessee bound. As for purgatory, there are more tales to tell. We dealing with a witch here, warlock. It's all too weird. I'm thinking more Angel of Mercy. Welcome to the Freak Show. Hope you brought popcorn. I thought it was very comic-con appropriate. It is. Yeah. My god, I love it. Yeah. I'll kick things off with the same question I asked him. What is it like visiting in this new medium of the office? It's awesome. It's really, I feel like with this show, it's a show I've gotten to try so many different things on. And um, everything is always a surprise. Like, we've never expected audio was, I mean, we, I've heard whispers of it actually for a few years. I knew that there was a possibility of us doing this, but it was just, I mean, it's so freeing. It's really freeing as an actor. I came from like a theater training background, so for me, not having to like worry about my hair, like, not really worry about, you know what I mean? Like, not being conscious of your body. Um, or like your face doing weird things. Sometimes you get awkward on on set because you're like, oh my god, I have hands or arms or like I'm I'm, I'm standing weird. <laughs> you start thinking about things you just don't think about in normal life. Whereas in audio, uh, there was none of that, and you just got to be free and be creative because it didn't matter what was the weird thing your face was doing. I was also like super super pregnant when we were doing these audio, so I just spent the whole time like bouncing on the pregnancy wall, um, like the full days that I was recording because that's all I could do. I could not stand at that point so it was um, really cool to get to work and just have your voice to tell a story yeah. yeah so Tim mentioned that he never let Doc go so he gets this call and he's like I got my hat and I'm ready to go what was that call like for you were you like yeah I'm back as officer hot like let's do this you know what was so crazy we had done we had just finished so we've been off for three years mm -hmm. and we had all there's always whispers of like more but you just don't know this industry is so unpredictable and so fickle and so tough mm -hmm. that you have to like let stuff go um, and I think like around the three year mark there's we started to be like okay it's probably that's probably it and that's we've had an amazing run um, but yeah getting the call we just come off the special and like it just was coincidence that the special for 2B and Audible were recorded within two months of each other that was purely just the way the, the cards came so um, of course sign me up it was really exciting and exciting to work in, in this medium yeah so if you were doing voice work for say an animated, animated film you would have like visuals to go along with it but with this like it was strictly like on the page so did you find it more difficult to be able to tell that story yeah you know our director was amazing uh, he was really so helpful in painting the picture of what visually was in front of us at the moment especially for the like I think about the giant episode um, and like how you know the way I interpret it the way you interpret it of like what we're both looking at and right. what, from reading the script this can be completely different on your on set so much of that is filled in for you because you're like okay well I see the costume I see that I see the thing but in the studio, he was so amazing at helping with just like, you know, what, what, what were you seeing? What the level of intensity was? Okay, you've been running. This is where you're running from. This is how far you've run. Like, all these things. Uh, huge, huge. I, I didn't really know what to expect in that regard because I've only ever done cartoons before and it's a little bit different. So, um, yeah, having him was huge. He was the, he was the huge anchor that all kept all of us on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. So, I see Nicole, and you can argue differently, of course, because <laughs> I see her as a very support character. Right? She's always there for everything. So, when you're going to play Nicole and you're going to play her with. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my name. Wait, no, no. Versus the sister. Do you prep for them differently because you're almost two different people? Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, I've never asked for that before. That's a great question. I um, yes, definitely. I think I also prep for 
I mean, not consciously now because we've been working together so long, but subconsciously prep for the energy of the other actor. I know when I have a scene with Melanie versus with Dom versus with Tim, the the way they work, what kind of energy is. Mel is very fast on her feet. There's going to be a lot of improv. There's going to be like, I have to be kind of like ready to dance. And with Dom, there's going to be a lot of connecting, talking, like slower moments where we're like in a closer dance together. And it's also the energy of the characters too. Um, so I think for me, I just know who I'm going to be working with and what that working style is going to be like, or what our, our energetic relationship is with people. Um, so I think subconsciously, I would, yeah, maybe with Mel, I'd be like a little bit more on my text, on my lines, make sure I do them like back my hand. With Dom, it's more I'm on the emotional part, making sure that was super, super clear, leaving room for like spontaneous moments to happen because that's the full and way for yeah. Yeah. I'm interested in like the process of all this because you, yeah. you know, you go with a certain set of expectations having done animation, having done theater, having done yeah. like live action film, and you have a certain set of expectations for an audience. But what is it for you that was just surprisingly smooth and then surprisingly challenging about the project in a way you maybe had to be awesome. Awesome. Um, surprisingly so surprising, uh, challenging, I would say, is how much we relied on direction uh, and how, just a reminder of how differently someone else can interpret something than you. Because I think on set we take for granted that we're all looking at the same thing, so our interpretation starts to become relatively the same. But in audio, you're like, I don't know, I'm in a room in Toronto with like a microphone. I have no idea what this looks like. Um, and then surprisingly easy was how connected we were. Like, it was even better than I anticipated, just how spontaneous the whole process was and how fun it was and how fast it went. We were going so fast. By the end of the day, you're so loose. Like, it's like the loosest I've ever felt in that trip. It was just brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So the timing between the end of the series, you said it was like a three year ish break, you know, between this and obviously Vengeance too. Yeah. What was that like when you guys actually all got to come back together and reunite? It was so great. It was so fun. And it was, you know, it had also been enough time to go away to get that renewed appreciation. Because sometimes when you're in it and you're there for four months and you, you're dealing with like the element kid, it, it becomes, it's tough, right? Like you get tired, you get, you know, miss your family and all those things so getting to come back together knowing it was for a short time knowing it was like bonus bonus never expected it to happen it's just and we'd all gone and done other things and I think that renewed appreciation of reuniting was really poignant for all of us you go off you go on other shows some are great some are not so great and you just get that renewed sort of sense of family we're so close now we get to travel so much together like yeah, it was great. Awesome. So recording in the studio together yeah. without cameras present, did you guys find it more difficult to stay in character the whole time? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Because we were going so fast, there wasn't really like, it was literally if you weren't in the scene, you left had like a little break and then you come back and you would stay as long as you were in the scene. We, it was so fast. I couldn't believe how quickly we were going. And um, But yeah, no, it, it wasn't. It, I thought maybe it would be a little right. harder, but it wasn't. No, And like, I guess because there's not a lot of time for chit-chatting or like where if you're in the studio, you're moving and then you would leave the studio and, and the writing's so good. Like it can help but pull you in. Yeah. And the writers, like these are these are our writers that have written some of them since the beginning of the show. They know the character so well, like they know the actor they're writing for. It's just it's such a cohesive group. It's so rare, but yeah. So I think I think that always helps. Okay. Yeah. And with the new medium audio, you've got a little bit more flexibility to take control wherever. Is there somewhere you'd like them to take the character? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm always so intrigued. Nicole is such a, as you said earlier, good person. She's so good. And I loved dabbling. I played a little bit of the character in the series just for a couple episodes. I, I, I would always love to see a transformation, a possession of Nicole, Nicole 
altered in some way, taken over by something. Um, just as an actor, I think it would be really fun. Um, so yeah, um, I would like to play some evil something. <laughs> In the time since you know since you started playing the whole yeah. like, audio drama inventions and all of that, have you found like what have you found for you has changed in the way? Or has anything changed? In oh, your huge! Yeah, um, I'm more confident as a person. I think I've grown up. <laughs> I am um, more confident in my abilities. Uh, I still have my days course where I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing but I think that's good and I think if you don't get scared your job doesn't scare you a little bit then it's time to make it harder or move on so I think it's good that I still get scared um, but yeah I just think now I have a, a confidence and a hearing less what other people think I think that's something that plagues a lot of us when we're young and as you get older you're just I'm too tired I'm too tired to hear what other people think and if they don't like not everyone's gonna like the work, not everyone's gonna like you, not everyone's gonna like it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not everybody has to be on board and that's totally fine. And I'm like okay with that at this stage of my life, whereas me ten, eight years ago, that was really hard for me. Yeah. yeah. So this fandom is one of my favorites to be in because it's it's just the best. Like yeah. not toxic, everybody's so supportive yeah. and acceptive. Over the years you've had so many interactions I'm sure. Is there any moments that stick out? Where you're like, oh yeah. my gosh, I just love all of these people. Yeah, I mean, gosh, we just had a convention two weekends ago, Wine on Earth time yeah. show, mm -hmm. and in Calgary, where we shoot the show. Um, oh God, like I have so many. I I love I love their specificity. I love the things that fans pick up on that like maybe I didn't. I mean, there's there's super fans that know the show so much better than I, than I do. And I, sometimes I feel like that, I, like they know the show so well that I feel like this. I have to remind myself that I'm in the show. You know what I'm saying? Like they just are so yeah. into it. And I'm like, oh right, I, I'm part of this. Um, sometimes I feel like a spectator, which is like great. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, we've had like weddings, people have, who have been fans, met because of the fandom, got married, had kids, meeting their kids, like that's, that's, that's the wild stuff, yeah. you just think, oh my gosh, or what I love is that people are friends from all over the world, they come together mm -hmm. at conventions to go on vacation with each other, and we're just sort of the excuse, <laughs> um, it's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.